What's up? My name's Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix annoying stuttering that you could be experiencing in Outriders and odds are you probably are. Well, first of all, I have a GTX 1080 Ti in my computer. It may be a bit outdated for today's standards, but it's still not something terrible. First of all, what you really should do first is make sure that Windows is fully up to date as well as your Nvidia or AMD graphics card driver. After doing at least those two things, you should see a massive performance boost if you haven't updated in quite some time. But other than that, your game will probably still be stuttery and terrible. How do we fix this? Well, because I'm simply in game, all that I'm going to do is hit Alt Enter to toggle between full screen mode and windowed borderless mode. You may see a bit of a performance increase, especially if you were in windowed before and now you're in proper full screen, but for me it's still incredibly stuttery. If hitting Alt Enter doesn't help you, hit Escape, head across to Options, followed by Display at the very top, and then make sure that windowed mode is set to full screen. Choose the correct monitor, correct resolution that matches your display. And of course, if you have to run at a lower res, use the resolution scaling down here instead of adjusting the actual resolution. And of course, VSync off unless you're experiencing screen tearing. This won't help stuttering. Then simply hit apply or X. After doing this, you should experience some better performance now that we're playing in full screen mode rather than windowed mode. But of course, it's still quite laggy. If I enable my overlay, you'll see that it's currently running in D3D11 mode, not DirectX 12 mode. Running in DirectX 12 should give you a massive performance increase, and it's not something that's on by default. If you have a new-ish graphics card at least, you should definitely be able to run the game in DirectX 12 mode, especially if everything's up to date. So how do we do this? Well, go ahead and close out of the game completely, Head across to Steam, locate Outriders or the Outriders demo, right click Properties and inside of here, head across to the General tab, then click the box right under Launch Options. In here, type in hyphen DX12 as such. Then you can close out of this and relaunch the game if you'd like. But before we do that, there's another thing that we can do that may help performance on your computer is running the game in admin mode and forcing it to not use full screen optimizations. Long story short, having full screen optimizations disabled can sometimes give you better performance in certain games. So I'll right click the Outriders demo, hover over manage and click browse local files. Then when the file browser opens up, locate Outriders, right click properties and then inside of here, head across to the compatibility tab. Make sure to check, run this game as admin, and then simply choose up here to also disable full screen optimizations. Hit apply and OK here as well. If you're on a laptop with an integrated GPU, make sure to hit start, type in GPU, and open up graphic settings. Inside of here, it's a good idea to have these two options on if you have them available, whether you're on a PC or a laptop. But for laptops or PCs with integrated graphics, you need to have a look down here at graphics performance preference. Simply choose desktop app and then click browse. Then navigate across to where your game is located. I already have it open, so I'll copy the address and paste it up here. Then I'll select outriders.exe, add, and once it pops up on the list, hit options, then choose high performance and save. This will make sure that it starts up on the correct graphics card when you launch up the game. You can close out of this menu now. From here, something that I've heard also helps is disabling the Steam overlay. I personally wouldn't do this as I used it a lot, but it is something that you can try. To disable the Steam overlay for this game, right click Outriders, click Properties and then simply turn it off up here. Enable the Steam overlay while in game. I'll be keeping this on as I use it very often. And of course, if you have a third party antivirus, it's a good idea to allow the game through the antivirus or at least try it once, temporarily disabling it for a couple of minutes to see if it gives you an FPS boost compared to having it on. In my case, my antivirus doesn't mess with the game and doesn't cause any FPS drops because it has a specific game mode built into it, but it's still a good idea to test it out temporarily with it off and try it with it on. You may find yourself with a couple more FPS. Something that a couple of people have been reporting is that with the normal Windows antivirus, it's been causing some serious stuttering issues with this game. We can do this by simply hitting start and typing in security, then opening up Windows security. I don't have it here, so I'll quickly connect to my laptop and show you there, even though the game isn't installed. Simply hit start, type in security, and then open up Windows security. Inside of this new window over here on the left hand side, head across to virus and threat protection, and then on this screen under virus and threat protection settings, click manage settings. Then here, scroll down until you see exclusions, click add or remove exclusions, and then click add exclusion. Then simply choose folder, and then navigate across to the folder where Outriders is located. 
let's say that this Hitman 3 folder over here in my documents is where all the game files are located. Simply go back one, select the folder, and then click Select Folder. After doing this and hitting Yes, it'll be added to the list and you've now successfully whitelisted the Outriders folder from Windows Firewall, stopping it from searching through files. It's also a good idea to do it for the game's settings path. You can click Add Exclusion, Folder, and this time at the very top, type in Percentage, App Data Percentage. Go back a folder at the very top and open up Local. Inside of here, you should see a Madness folder. Open this up and click Select Folder as such. Then you'll have whitelisted also the Settings folder and the App Data Local folder for Outriders. After doing this, you should see some better performance in game if the Windows Firewall is causing issues with your game. Now, of course, because we've made all of those changes, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the game. And without changing any in-game graphic settings, let's see how much it improved the performance. Now, of course, it'll be very difficult for me to record a difference. But usually at this point, through any game's optimization following these guidelines, you will see some sort of an improvement. And if I enable my overlay, you should see the game is now running in D3D12 rather than D3D11, meaning it's in DirectX 12 mode. Now, if I load up into the exact same space, performance should be quite a bit better. And there we go. Now that we're in game, I'll verify that we're still in full screen mode in the game's display options, which we currently are, and I'll leave everything else as is. If I run around and play for a bit, you should see that the stuttering is a bit better, but it's still not the best that it could be. One of the things that I've heard about, which is a very odd fix, is opening up the Steam overlay, which of course you may have disabled at this point by hitting Shift Tab. And inside of here, simply change your account to offline instead of invisible. Doing this, you'll sign out of Steam Friends Chat, and you shouldn't have friends that you can invite in game. As you can see, doing this last little step over here has given me quite a bit more stability in game, which makes me think that it's somehow checking through all of your friends every once in a while to see who you can invite and who can invite you to the game. Now, of course, this was an issue that Apex Legends experienced when it came to Steam, and I think something along those lines also happened with Destiny. Changing into offline mode seems to fix your issue for this as well, and I've immediately noticed a serious increase in performance and a lack of stuttering. Now, of course, I've made a couple of small changes and a couple of large changes, but going offline in Steam seemed to be the biggest one yet. Of course, putting these all together, I now have a very smooth experience compared to what I started with. This isn't a maximum FPS guide, it's rather more of an FPS stability guide. Of course, that last one about going offline in Steam, it's only really something that the developers can solve, but I'm sure it's something that they will at some point. The last little tip that I've heard is disabling the Xbox Game Bar. Now, I of course don't really believe in this being something that could cause that much frame stuttering in the game, but if it's something you use regularly, it could be something causing issues with the game, or if it's just set up weirdly. So I'll go ahead and show you right before I end the video, though it's not something I'd usually do. To disable your game bar, simply hit start, open up your settings using the settings icon there, and then open up the gaming section. Click on Xbox Game Bar on the left hand side, and inside of here we'll be looking for the Xbox Game Bar toggle right at the top. You can turn it off here. Also something with varying results on different computers is playing around with the Windows Game Mode option on the Game Mode tab. Usually having this on nowadays will give you better performance, but in the past having this off has given you better performance. This is also something you could try toggling on and off and seeing how it affects your in-game performance. But with all of that aside, the biggest things that will help you from this video is the DirectX 12 mode and the Steam Online Visibility option. Hopefully by now you've got a really stable game that you're playing, and if you'd like to know how to maximize your FPS, something I do do with a couple of games is a full breakdown of the effect of every single graphics option available in the game, just to see what kind of FPS you could squeeze out of it. If you'd like to see what ones I've done previously, there'll be a playlist linked in the description down below, but if you'd like to see me do this for Outriders, I'll go ahead and purchase the full version of the game and show you all of the settings there. Do make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you're curious about seeing a full optimization guide on top of just the stuttering fix guide. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!